Hey guys, uh, I'm just gonna play some race room right now. I'll show you the difference between this and ACC. I'm also using the BMW M6. This is such an underrated game. I just like that it has reverse force feedback. It's gonna be a 25 minute race. Man, it feels so much better with the reverse force feedback. I know I keep saying it, but it's so true though. Yeah, this game is better than ACC. Even the physics feel much better, too. I wouldn't say much better, but it's definitely better, though. And for iRacing, I don't even think their physics is that good. It's all right, but... They keep updating it, too, but I don't know. I think it's all right. It's not the best, though. But they have the best community though. If you want some com competition, like, iRacing is the place to go. It just takes too much toll on your scheduling that you have to like meet all this criteria. I might get back into it though, just not right now. Damn, I gotta get ahead of this guy. The pack is taking off now. Yeah, this game is definitely better than ACC. I might change my mind once they get uh, some more content in ACC though. The content is way too small. Not even worth playing really to be honest. I guess people just like racing the same track all the time. I gotta get ahead of this uh, Z4. Yeah, the physics are definitely better than ACC. Cause I just played that like five minutes ago, so I can tell the difference. Come on, Kunos, you guys gotta put that reverse force feedback in. That's like killing it, man.
At least I'm keeping up with them. I'm so used to reverse force feedback that anything different it just feels odd. And that's what I think about ACC. I know it's a good sim, but everybody treats it like it's gold or something. Which is not true. When you play all these other games, I think this is the most underrated game out of all of them. This and R Factor. I never really used the M6, but it's actually a pretty nice car to use. It's got good handling and everything. The one car I hate using is the Bentley. I don't know, I just think it's hard. The Bentley Continental uh, GT3. Yeah, this game is definitely underrated. You don't even see that many people playing it. They only play like the popular games. I don't know what game I want to start up tonight. I was thinking about starting uh, Gears of War. Judgment? I think that's what it's called. I played a bit of that Gears of War 5 on PC. Honestly, I thought that was kind of boring. Good graphics, though. This is what I try to do. I try to stick the first-person shooters on PC and the action-adventure games on, on console. I honestly hate playing first-person shooters with the controller. I can't stand that. It's just horrible aiming and everything. So I'm going to start up another game. I don't know which one yet, so I'm still picking it out. I want some good adventure game, though.
I like playing those games for the weekend, like good like adventure games. If you guys have any suggestions, just post a message on the comment section. Yeah, if you guys have any requests for like old classics or even Xbox games, just just tell me and I'll play it. I just have a hard time picking out the games half the time, so. I think I got over around seven or eight Call of Duty games on Xbox. I have over 10 Call of Duty games on PC too, so. I tried recording uh, Call of Duty World War II, the one that came out in 2016 on PC and it got rejected by YouTube. So that was kind of like a waste of a recording. It's at a 1440p too, like high resolution. So I guess for the older Call of Duty games, I can only do the older ones. The newer ones is kind of hard to do. Because uh, YouTube gives you like restrictions on what games you can upload. I might try Call of Duty on console just to change it up. But I honestly don't like playing first-person shooters on a con on, with a controller at all. And I never have either, so I don't see that changing, really. But those uh, action-adventure games, I love them on consoles. They're pretty fun, so... Come on, guys, you gotta start giving me some suggestions to play. There's around 12 minutes left in this race. The pack is way up there. I'm only racing this M6 right now, so... I'm gonna try and cut on the inside. I don't think I can catch up to them. Unless I late break. The difficulty AI is at 100, so... Definitely not easy. The AI, they go all the way up to 120. And it's like impossible to race them at that, at that difficulty. They race at like alien speed. You can't even keep up with them. I used to use uh, adaptive AI for this game, but I did so fast sometimes that I can't even keep up with them anymore because it keeps your fastest lap ever, so. Adaptive AI works good until it gets really hard and you can't even keep up with them anymore. I think I'm catching up a bit to this guy. It is good to sim race again. Took a couple days break there, so.
I think the guys on I'm Racing, I think they race like 24 7. Seriously, it's gotta be something like that. No brakes at all. Because I used to be on there and I, I raced a lot, so. I just can't keep up with the schedule that they have on there. That's why I canceled my membership. I'd say it is probably the best community though for sim racing. And they're all good racers too, it's not like you're racing against noobs or anything. Catching up to this car a bit. Yeah, this and R Factor is probably my favorite Sims out there. And ACC gets a merely third. Just because of the lack of content and the physics they have in there. It would be so much better with reverse force feedback. Yeah, this game is definitely more fun than ACC. I get more enjoyment out of it, so I don't know if everybody else feels the same, but that's just my opinion. Underrated physics, too. I don't know, I might play some Need for Speed on Xbox tonight, just to get something different. I like the storylines in Need for Speed games, they're pretty good, so. And those games are definitely made for controllers. Because I tried racing, I have a couple of them on PC and they suck, man. I kind of feel the same way with Project Cars too. That's not really a sim, that's like, that's kind of like a Need for Speed game. That they cater to the the big market, which is the controller based. I can catch up to these three cars up here now. There's about five minutes left.
Yeah, this is still probably one of my favorite tracks ever. It's got to be laser scan though. I don't think this one is laser scan, but they got it pretty accurate though. I can tell the difference. Or else it could be laser scan, I'm not sure, but it feels pretty accurate though. I tried this track on uh, Project Cars 2 and it's terrible. Honestly, I don't think I'm ever playing Project Cars 2 anymore. It's alright, but... There's so many better games out there. Even Dirt's better than Project Cars 2. Well, for the fun factor, at least. That's funny, some people, they only play Project Cars 2, but they don't play Assetto Corsa. They don't play any other Sims, but just Project Cars 2. I find that kind of funny, man. Yeah, you know who you are. You're those console racers. There's only two minutes left. I gotta catch up to that Bentley up there. This game is from 2013, and the graphics look pretty good still. That's how old this game is. You know what's funny? I see people recording old consoles like normal Nintendo in like 360p and I'm recording it in like 1440p. The number one example, if you guys know him, uh, his name is uh, for YouTube, his channel is like World of Long Plays. I swear he's like uploading like 360p stuff. It's like dude, we're in 2020 man, you're, you're on like 2005 hardware recording in 360p. I'm like, what the heck kind of like computer does this guy have, man? From like 2005 or something? My like, God, 360p in 2020. Just think about that. And I seen some of the Street Fighter videos on there. Oh my God, those guys are noobs, man. I would probably beat them with my eyes closed. And just to let you guys know, I have played in Street Fighter tournaments in like the, the late nine or the late nineties, and I did pretty good in them. So I think I've been playing a little bit too much Street Fighter the late. Uh, the last probably two three months so I'm just kind of going to slow down on that a bit. It's still a fun game though you gotta admit. And just to let you guys know I play with a joystick. I don't play with controllers. I play with an arcade joystick.
So with you guys, uh, for the guys that are recording in 360p, my god, man, upgrade your computers, man. It's like 2020. Even I see people on PC, like good players on PC recording Street Fighter on 720p. Like, really? Like, I play on an Xbox 360 and I record at 1080p. And you're playing on rigs, like, computers on 720p? My god, like... It's like they know how to play Street Fighter, but they don't know how to, like, build computers. They seem like one of the guys that buy pre-builds. You know the ones that you see at like Best Buy, buy it for like $600 with like no video card? That's what those players seem like. Anyways, that was a good race, I enjoyed it.